guys, it's Liv. Today I have three recipes for you that are super quick, they don't take a lot of time, they don't take a lot of ingredients, and they don't use up a lot of dishes. These recipes are perfect for the days when you're either feeling really lazy or you're just really tired or busy. So obviously the ultimate lazy meal is just like cereal or ordering pizza, but for the most part, if you want to cook yourself a meal, you actually you know, want to get in the kitchen and do a little bit of cooking, but you just want something that's really fast and easy, then these are for you. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is cook some rice. I use this super cheap rice cooker from Walmart. This was one of the best purchases we could have ever gotten for our kitchen and it's perfect if you are lazy or strapped for time or just don't like cooking rice. So just cook some rice and then in a medium pan with some water or oil, just pan fry some cubes of tofu. And then I suggest using this frozen veggie stir fry mix. Um, I actually had some vegetables left over from another recipe that I used in this recipe, but if I didn't have those, I definitely would have used this frozen mix. For this recipe right now, I'm just using some leftover peppers and onions that I had. So for the sauce, you need two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of maple syrup, a half tablespoon of sriracha, and a half tablespoon of ketchup. Do not question it, just trust me on this one. Then I also added a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and ground ginger, but I forgot to show that in this, so that will be listed in the ingredients list below. And then I just added in the rest of my vegetables along with a bit of water. Then add in a sprinkle of cornstarch or flour, and this is just going to thicken the sauce. So while it heats up, it's just going to thicken everything once you pour the sauce into the pan. So add the sauce and give it a stir and I would just let it simmer for a minute or two while your rice finishes cooking. Then at the very end I added some bean sprouts. There are bean sprouts in that frozen vegetable mix that I showed you so if you use that you don't need to add bean sprouts because they're already in it. So all that's left to do is to plate it up so I just added some of the rice to a bowl and put everything on top and then I topped it with some sesame seeds. Start to finish, this recipe doesn't take more than about 15 minutes depending on how long your rice takes to cook. These cookies are so unbelievably easy. The first thing you need is half a cup of vegan cream cheese. So I use the Tofuti brand, it's my favorite kind. Then you need half a cup of softened vegan butter or vegan margarine, so I use vegan basil. If you live in Canada, you'll know what that is. And then you need a three quarters of a cup of cane sugar, so I use raw cane sugar from Costco. And then you're just going to cream that together with a spoon until it's kind of light and fluffy. Then you need to add one cup of flour and give that a stir. It's going to look a bit dry at first, but just keep stirring it. Don't add any more liquid because there's more than enough moisture in these. It just takes a little while to get to the right consistency, so keep at it. Then you need about five Oreo cookies. Now if Oreos are not vegan where you live, because I know some have dairy products in them depending on the country you're in, you can use any sort of cookie or chocolate chips or anything that you like. I just find Oreos really good in this, so if you have another kind of like chocolate cookie, that would be perfect. So you're just going to give that a quick stir and then start dropping about a tablespoon size of dough onto a cookie sheet. and mine made exactly 15 cookies. And then you're just going to bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for 13 to 15 minutes. 
and I'll put the temperature conversion in the description box below. These noodles are not only good because they taste amazing, but they only require one pot to cook them. In a medium pot, add half a package of rice noodles, which is about three ounces, one cup of water, a cup of fresh or frozen vegetables, a tablespoon of curry powder, a tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of maple syrup, a tablespoon of peanut butter or almond butter, a squeeze of lemon, and then I just cut in some fresh green onions, but this is optional. Then put it on the stove and try to submerge everything as best you can. If you use a bigger pot, it's easier to do this. And then just turn the heat up to medium until it starts boiling. And then turn the heat down to low and put a lid on it. And then leave it for about 10 minutes to cook. So when you take the lid off, it should be done and the noodles should be creamy and soft. And yeah, this is so quick and so easy to make. You really have no excuse not to make this recipe. You can add any flavors you want and any spices. This is just sort of a guideline to go off of, but the options are definitely endless with this one. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.